Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and this is a 1990 Baldwin M. It measures 5 foot 2 inches from the very front to the very back. It also measures 5 foot 2 inches from the very back to the very front. I love re-saying that joke in all my videos. <laughs> the tuners are laughing over there. So guys, this is a handmade, real American piano. This isn't one of the Baldwins from Asia that kind of degrade quicker and we don't rebuild them. We don't rebuild stuff from Asia. We rebuild stuff from America or from Europe. And this is a real handmade Baldwin that was made here in the United States. So this is an heirloom. This is something that we would rebuild. In fact, I just personally sent uh, two or three Baldwins out to be refinished just yesterday. So we do this a lot. Um, and so if you're looking for something that you can pass down from generation to generation and they can keep rebuilding and it's actually fiscally worth it, not stupid, this is a really good option for you. Now Baldwins are punchy. Baldwins have a floating plate. So the plate is literally sitting on the threads of the bolts that hold the plate in, which is really cool because it makes it live. It kind of adds to the sound of the piano. And on top of that, this one has the AccuJust hitch pins, which is a Baldwin um, patented design. And it allows us, well, it technically allows piano technicians to force more um, of the vibrations of the strings into the uh, bridge of the piano, which then puts it into the soundboard, which is your speaker, and since making the piano louder, more powerful. I always want to say this as a precursor, don't ever do that yourself. That is something most piano technicians shouldn't even do um, because you can risk cracking the soundboard by pushing too much pressure on it. But it is a really cool feature that Baldwin has and established technicians who know how to use it can really make these pianos pop and sing and we've done that to this piano as you just heard. The only downside of this piano is there was some sort of crack in the lid flap here. It's since been repaired, but it is there. It's super sturdy and it can come back, but I think it happened before we got it. But if you look really, really closely, you can see it. Other than that, we buffed all the finish out. This is a lacquer finish, not a polyester finish. Um, and we did all the hardware as well. So guys, if you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.